Good morning, Floss Tube. It's Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching. Uh, today is Wednesday. It's the 27th of May, and I am back for Chart of the Day video number 38 is what I have written down. <laughs> How are you today? It is another cloudy, rainy day today in Nebraska. The grass out here in the green space is about up to my knees. Um, and it's all gone to seed, so it has that kind of fluffy look to it. Um, but we needed the rain, so it's a good thing. Um, I just wish it kind of hadn't come all at once. You know, it could we could get a little sun in between. Uh, but so far, no. It's pretty much just rain, clouds, damp. Got some mold growing between my toes. Anyway, I hope all of you are well uh, and had a good holiday weekend if you celebrate Memorial Day. Um, Dan and I spoke a little bit about our weekend in our video that we did on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Our, uh, our Sunday and Monday, we didn't do a whole lot. I made some fobs. Um... finished up some gardening things. That's about it. I thoroughly enjoyed my three days off. It was really hard to come back to work yesterday, but I did. I'm here. Had a lot of orders to take care of. Questions. A lot of questions to take care of yesterday. Um, people are still on the hunt for fabric, and, and I'm... Fabric situation is not good. I have fabric coming from a lot of different places, but so far not, nothing has shown up. So um, even making substitutions is getting a little difficult, which is making chart of the day a little difficult. I had, a, I had one chart I wanted to do, but I really didn't have a a fabric and I just don't think it's fair to show you a little tiny piece of a fabric and with no chance of anyone getting it so um, we went s fairly small today for the chart of the day which is Waxing Moon Designs Preserving Liberty 4th of July will be coming up I'm not sure what it's going to look like this year but it will be coming up it calls for there's two different charts. You can you can do the horizontal or the vertical. Um, both of them are in here. One is 69 by 106 inches, and the other is 99 by or not inches stitches, 99 by 74 stitches. Um, one calls for 28 count. One calls for 32. What I pulled today is all 28 count um, and it's beautiful beige which I don't have in anything but I have just a little teeny tiny amount of beautiful beige in a 16 count Ada but it's it's as you can see not much get that folded back up for you okay okay so there's the beautiful beige it's on the I would say medium to dark side because you do want the white to show up on here the colors calls for a lot of colors two of them you need 10 yards of the whitewash from Weeks Dye Works and the apple fritter from Classic Color Works. I'm going to guess, and I could be wrong, so don't hold me to this, but I'm going to guess that you, the floss list they gave was if you're going to do both of these. Because um, I can't imagine that one of those what you would you would need two. 
I just can't imagine you would need two if you were just doing one of them. So on beautiful beige, this is what the, the colors would look like. Lots of different ones that I've not ever really had people use or ask for. Um, for instance, I don't think I've ever had anyone buy, well, maybe not buy, but I don't think I've ever known anyone in person that has used mermaid's fin before. It's a beautiful color, but apple fritter is, is not commonly used. Tyler boy blue, not commonly used. Um, so some different different colors, which is kind of fun. This is the mermaid fin, which is a beautiful blue. Apple fritter. So if you don't have beautiful beige lying around, um, any darker beige will work. This is light mocha, which which I think is going to be fine also. Uh, this, this is Weigart fabric. It's called Delicate Beige, and it's more of a grayish, taupey color. But I think it would be fine too. And then I thought, well, let's try some gingham. This is tin roof gingham. 28 count. That could be really, really cute. I think it could. And last, you know, since it's an outdoor scene, maybe a blue. Um, but we do have this light blue here, so I couldn't go with like summer sky or ice blue because this would not work on those. So instead I went with a, a fabric, I believe it's probably a Wichelt fabric um, called Rain. It's uh, country French Rain and that would give a nice look also. So, that's today's chart of the day. It's a cute one. Reminds me of a classic Color Works, I think, design that was really popular a year or so ago. Um, but very cute. Very, very cute. So, today's question of the day, um, and in the Dan and Julie show from Sunday, we were talking a little bit about somehow the my buying the, the shop came into play. I think it was during Dan's story about how he started stitching. And um, intestinal fortitude was brought up because, because um, it was a very hard decision for me to purchase the shop. I just didn't think I would be very good at being a shop owner. I still don't know that I'm really good at being a shop owner. Um, and I almost didn't do it. But um, I think the thing that pushed me over the edge to actually to actually go ahead and do it was I was up in up in Stewart the sand hills um, and I'd gone to the something special by Maryland's which is a gift shop uh, in Atkinson Nebraska uh, which is one of my favorite places to go to shop I hope they're still still doing okay but uh, there was a little little plaque if I'd been thinking I would have brought it with me but um, it sits on the shelf in the kitchen so I can see it every day uh, and there, it's a little looks like a stone piece of stone on on a support and uh, I saw that the quote that was on that 
on that plaque and I'm just going to read it because I'll probably mess it up if I don't so I wrote it down. Uh, it said sometimes you just have to take the leap and build your wings on the way down. And for some reason that just struck a chord and I actually bought the plaque and uh, stared at it for a couple of months. And it was that plaque that finally gave me the strength or intestinal fortitude to move forward with purchasing the shop from Marianne. Um, had I not seen that, I really don't think I would have probably pulled the trigger on that. So um, the question for the day is, do you have a favorite quote, something that is, has inspired you or continues to inspire you or just gives you comfort or um, for whatever reason it, you like the saying or the quote? Uh, share that with me, please. So it's not really a question. It's more of a, it is a question because I'm asking you what yours is. But anyway, um, if you want to share that with me, uh, I would appreciate it. Um, I would also like those of you who are keeping Ben in, in your prayers to maybe up them just a little bit. Uh, he was hospitalized last night, so... Um, prayers for Ben Ben I'm thinking about you if you guys need anything let me know otherwise I'm going to let you go I'm going to try and get a lot done today and um, not in a real chipper mood anyway so have a great day um, get some stitching done I will see you tomorrow Bye.